What's up with the world? It's your boy Big Silent. Speaking on the story that happened in my own hometown where a cop killed an innocent teen. Killed an innocent teen. Stepping out of the truck with an oil can because he needed the oil to keep his tr truck in reverse. Put his truck in reverse. The police just <laughs> fired off on him and dropped him. Who is 17 years old, working through the night to fix the transmission on his truck so he could make it to his job at 6 a.m. At 3 a.m. in the morning, he left the shop where he was working with his friend, Jordan King. They did a final test ride when Lone Oak Sergeant Mike Davis pulled them over. What was the probable cause to pull him over for driving in his truck at 3 a.m.? He probably looked suspicious, but is that a crime? Britton stepped out of the vehicle with an oil jug to stop the truck from rolling backwards for the tranny was not holding and without notice, Sergeant Davis shot and murdered him. I say murdered because that's what it was. Jordan King says Davis never ordered him out or gave any verbal commands before he shot and killed Hunter. That is a big no-no and any reasonable person has to wonder how he made sergeant. Another deputy showed up and detained Jordan, put him on the ground, handcuffed him, and made him wait in the squad car for three hours? Detainment is supposed to be no more than 20 minutes, and this should be a civil rights lawsuit that hopefully will give Jordan King an all expense trip to college for having to watch his friend get murdered the Arkansas State Police eventually showed up, but oh my God, these mopes couldn't punch their way out of a paper bag with razor blades, uh -oh. for I have covered stories with video evidence of malfeasance by troopers and no punishment was ever dished out. This is a sad story, and will there be justice for Hunter? I would hope so because the folks down there are pissed off yeah. and Sergeant Davis needs to be convicted and sent to prison. But don't hold your breath. Those Arkansas Razorback cops stink like a rotten wild pig that needs to be put down. You have my permission to share this video for this is a call to action, attention needed story. It needs to hold them accountable. Wow. See, I seen that for y'all self, man. Like I said, bro. This is a white team. This is not even a black. No African American. This is a, this is a white team. Gun down by, by a cop. You know what I'm saying? Alone of Arkansas, bro. Wow. It's gonna make a big story. By a white cop. White cop killed white team. An innocent white team. Wow. Great. Tempers flare once again outside the Lono County Sheriff's Office, but that was just one moment of many that were caught on camera at tonight's gathering. The protest this evening comes as people continue to demand justice following the fatal shooting of 17-year-old Hunter Britton. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. Britton was shot and killed by Lono County Sheriff Mike, or Sergeant, excuse me, Mike Davis during a traffic stop along Highway 89. This happened yesterday morning. Fox 16's Hunter Hoagland at the protest tonight joins us live with more on what happened this evening. Hunter, are things quiet now? They are now. Sheriff John Staley earlier this afternoon releasing a two-minute pre-recorded video. That video or message not sitting well with protesters out here tonight. This here is the damage left behind from some of those burnouts you just saw. Hundreds here at the Sheriff's Office tonight. Many yelling outside, demanding Sheriff John Staley talk with them face to face. At one point, even painting on the front of the building. When the Sheriff didn't come outside, protesters got in their cars and began doing burnouts in the parking lot, leaving marks all across the street out here tonight. Now, this is a much different story than what we saw last night. Yesterday, things were relatively quiet at the protest. Today, people seem angrier and really pushing for answers. After about 15 minutes of these burnouts, the sheriff came outside meeting with friends and family of Hunter Britton face to face. He stood in the middle of the crowd. Watch. <laughs>
can see just how heated things became tonight. Things, though, did calm down in the circle after about 10 or 15 minutes. He told the crowd he fully supports the body camera video being released and that it will be up to Arkansas State Police to put that out. We have yet to hear from State Police today on why the team was pulled over Wednesday morning or if that video will be released in the coming days. As for family and friends out here, they tell me they'll be back again to do the same thing tomorrow night. Kevin and